EKU men's basketball took the floor at McBray Arena last night for the first game of what Dan McHale has dubbed as culture weekend for his team. Colonels hosting the Jacksonville State Gamecocks and are looking for the season sweep over their conference foe. And we'll pick this game up in the second half where Eastern Kentucky notches the first five points to tie the game at 29. But JSU would log nine straight and use a 15-4 run to open up an 11-point lead. Colonels hoping to change the tide. Asante Gist drives the lane, kicks it out to a wide open Isaac McGlone, and he buries it. Next EKU possession, and they'll get another three points. This time the old-fashioned way is Gist draws contact and hits the step-back jumper. The three-party continues as Parker Chitty nails this one in front of his bench. Colonels down three. Mayo working on Giga down low. Goes all Dirk Nowitzki on the seven-footer. Mayo was fouled on the play, and we're tied for the sixth time, and the fans are digging it. A 13-8 Gamecock run would put Eastern in a five-point hole. Jacksonville State looking to extend their lead, but AG comes up with the interception. He would have two of the team's six steals as he lays it in to trim the deficit to three. The freshman tallies 16. McGlone on the inbound. He gets it to Mayo. Back to McGlone. Catch and shoot. Buckets. The senior chips in a baker's dozen. EKU in transition, AG to Mayo, and he throws it down with the tangy zip of Miracle Whip. Look at this one more time. It shakes the Coliseum. The freshman scores a team high 22 points as the Colonels hold on for a 68-65 victory. We caught up with Isaac McGlone after the game. Uh, it's definitely huge for us. I mean, we were just talking about how we haven't won on this court in 50 days. And, you know, we want to protect home court. We want to, you know, keep working as a team. I won't be here next year, but, you know, all these other guys will. So it's just important to... You know, not give up, just keep fighting, keep working. You know, every day we got to compete, and that's what we did. I mean, it's, it helps when you got Nick Mayo. It definitely helps. But, you know, we knocked down a couple shots, and they couldn't double Mayo because we were hitting shots. And, you know, I just told them, keep getting stops, keep getting stops. And, you know, every stop we got, we got a little bit closer, a little bit closer, and, you know, took the lead and closed them out. <laughs> it's fun. I mean, my whole career, I wanted to do whatever I could to help us win. You know, you know I loved all these guys I played with, you know, the coaches. And, uh, I mean, I hope they remember he's a basketball player, but, you know, I hope they remember he's a good person. You know, nice guy. The guy that played hard. Eastern Kentucky closes out the regular season Saturday at McBray Arena, where history could be made as Nick Mayo looks to become the first colonel to record a thousand points in his first two years. Tip off is scheduled for 2 p.m. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.